Is there a lot of running in pickleball? No. I'm in. I don't like, uh, if there was a lot of running, I'd be out. I'm stopping, starting. I can do the lunging, especially being so long. Well, if you play doubles, especially, you don't have to move as much. Singles, though, I, I have a feeling. I don't know how you played singles that long in that heat. Oh, I was dying the entire time. I mean, Je- Jenny's like the Energizer Bunny, though. She wouldn't quit. That's the difference between D1 athletes and club athletes, I guess. Um, hubba hubba? What? <laughs> she does she just energize her bunny. All right. When do we want to... Are we rolling on audio? Yeah. Oh, okay. Sorry. So who's going to be on my pickleball team? We can do like a Levitard show tournament maybe at, at the next Moss I, I have a couple questions. Okay. Uh, do you play in the sun? You don't have to. There's indoor courts. Okay. I believe there's indoor courts at Hallandale Beach, actually. Oh, that's far. Are there indoor courts down south? Um, in Miami, probably. Yeah. Probably. Is, is there running? It depends. If you're playing doubles, there's less running than if you're playing singles. Would we be playing doubles or singles? If we have enough people, we can play doubles. Okay. This is not in the sun and no running. Those are like yeah. my top priorities. I got you. I mean, we could play... We could play early or late, like when the sun's not as strong. Evening, too. I'm not good on the evenings. Mornings, I'm good. Okay, we could do mornings. Okay, I, athletic pursuits that don't involve running is a very limited category. That's why I play well, keeper? There's mm. yeah, I mean, there's not that much running. Like it's it's good cardio. Like I I have an Apple Watch, and the entire time my heart rate heart rate was in like the high end. You got like, your I steps was, in very early. Yeah, well, no, I actually didn't get that many steps in because I wasn't running as much. I now was, I'm listening. I was doing, you do like a couple steps to each side, a couple steps back and forward, but the court is much smaller than a tennis is court. Is it a frustrating game? Yes. Why? But not in a bad way. How so? Uh, well, it's frustrating if you get on a roll or if the other person gets on a roll and then you can't overcome the deficit because they're just hitting it really well and, yeah. and there's like one it's like in tennis like if your backhand isn't very good and they keep hitting it to your backhand you can't hit it with your forehand like that can be frustrating do i have to be good at tennis to be good at pickleball definitely not is serving is much easier that is one of the things that can either be like really good if you're good at it or very frustrating if you can't get a hang of it one of the things i've picked up on from pickleball videos is that it seems as though strength can almost be overrated because i see people really like rear up to hit it hard and then it doesn't go anywhere because of the nature of the ball right is that true i i would think so i think that's the appeal of it is that you don't have to be particularly strong or particularly fast or or anything as long as you can kind of aim the ball well get your the game around it yeah exactly you know like in badminton where like sometimes the lightest touch can be the best hit you just get it barely over the net you ever played badminton? This may shock you, but I've never played badminton. Jess has really carved the lane out of doing something like once or twice and becoming an expert at it. This was your first time playing pickleball? Yeah. But like, didn't you, like F1, you became like, boom, I watched like one season on the yes. drive and now I'm learner. like, now I'm that's what I mean, it. like I'm impressed. It's very... When I, when I find a hobby or, or a thing I like, Chris, I just dive in. I go balls I'm... deep on that thing. That's it's usually Mike's elbows thing. Elbows deep. What? Like, just like, gra- like you, I feel like you're gonna play going pickleball once and you're gonna be like... <laughs> Like you dive in on oh, stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Like no, I like to make like... my identity something that I like in the moment. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, I mean. no I'm, I'm that guy. After you play on Saturday, you're gonna come back and yeah. you'll be. You're gonna love it. Yeah. So if it's just like golf, I don't know if I need one of those things. Honestly, that's probably it's, not good for me. It's much better. It's much easier to get the hang of than golf. Is it much more affordable? Because it's free. I okay. You literally well, just need good. like a ball and because I've spent thousands probably... of dollars just looking like a dick playing golf. <laughs> well, to no, like, I mean. Zero actual like good golf being played. One of, None of the good results. Just me looking things, like a dick. Yeah, one of the things that I I like about Miami is that there's year round outdoor time built in. Like you can play golf year round. You can play tennis year round. Whatever bike year round. Whatever thing you like. That's not something I haven't even been playing. I haven't been playing soccer during daylight hours this summer because it's so hot. Yeah, this is the first time that I put my foot down. I'm like, it's too hot. I'm not doing this anymore. Something something has definitely changed on this planet. I think it might be this global warming thing that everyone keeps talking <laughs> I've about. Heard, I've it heard is about it, it is hot. And you never feel it more than on an, an, a plastic pitch in the middle of Westchester yes. when it's 110 degrees the heat and radiates up. Yeah, right. I like I believe artificial turf absorbs heat. No, we've been there where like our shoes are starting to melt and it's Yeah, well, it's I, not great. I have seen someone's cleats melt before. And then you walk on it. It's like when you uh, when you walk on the side of a hot pool 
and your your feet start like trying to tiptoe around because you're it's so hot on your feet. On the subject of athletic pursuits, we tried this weekend. Mike and I went go karting yesterday. K one. Yeah, I went to K one. Indoors, outdoors. Yeah, I went to indoor wow. and I only a Grand Prix. I really wow. thought that I was going to be good at this because I did it once mm. and I was good at it. And our group of friends went to hang out afterwards, and I made an excuse that I had something to do. But I really had just a wounded ego at how bad I was <laughs> yeah. at race car it's, driving. It's not always you. Sometimes it's the cart. Sometimes yeah. it's Thank the you. measurement as well. Oh, like yeah. I, you know, the some of my lap times weren't registering. I didn't want to file any complaints. You were off track or, limits. It, and it was it was not great. But either way, I actually had confidence in an athletic pursuit that I was embarking on for probably the first time in my life, and. To have to, to be wounded like that, it really hurt. It ruined my day, mm. and I put it in the wall three times to the point where I think I'm a little bit sub-concussed, mm. and it's affected me some it's since, well, including right now. You Maybe put it in the wall three porpoising. times? Yeah, I put it in the wall three times. Wait, yeah. what? Yeah, oh like, I, like I, was, I was trying to quickly like take a very narrow, there's a very sharp turn, so I was trying to take it at speed and come out of it with speed, and... Like in kind of cranking it, oversteer. It, yeah, exactly. There's some oversteer. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. I just went like at a real rate of speed when clattering into the wall. Yeah, and I well, did not feel right for the rest of the day. Chris, the thing about pickleball is that you can be a beginner, and and we'll all be beginners. And if we play doubles, you know, we can kind of take it easy until we get the hang of it and then start playing a little bit harder. But I'll wait till the second week to come out, though. I don't want to let you guys get a Well, head start. I, I was going to say the thing about Miami is that you can do all these things like you can golf year round. But golf is a very expensive hobby unless you're just kind of going to a public range and hitting balls. This is totally free. You're just, you know, enjoying your time out there. There's a lot of free public. Courts. Is there a weird culture around it? Like, yes. am I going to? Well, okay, so I, I mentioned this earlier on the show, but this guy came up to my friend and I and asked if we wanted to play with him, and we said yes. And so he told us as we were playing that he was a level four pickleballer. Wow. There are levels? Apparently there are levels. Huh. I don't know how you are designated in a level. I'm sure people will tweet all this information at us because pickleball fandom is a very passionate base. But I'm, they might be self-designated. I'm not sure, but there are levels to this, Mike. I'm in. You have one morning, but it can't go later than eleven thirty. I just I won't be in the sun once it once it gets to its. We'll get there apex. early. We'll get there early. The right. USAPickleball.org website. I don't know why I said it that way. Has the level rating. So there's one to two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, four and a half, five, and then five and a half plus are the skill ratings. What is what does one and a half mean? Well, it's one to two. This player is just starting to play pickleball and has no other sports background. Minimal understanding huh. of the rules of the game. So, so I mean, it seems like we may have two. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Well, maybe I'm two and a half. What's two and a half? So two and a half. This player has limited experience, can sustain a short rally with players of oh. equal ability, yeah. basic ability to keep score. Oh, yeah. There you go. Level, wow. level two right there. Well, hold on. No, that's maybe that was two and a half. half. That was two maybe and a half. three, though. What's three? All right, three. Now, there's, now this gets complicated. Yeah, there's a lot of levels here. So the forehand... The ability to hit a medium paced shot lacks directional intent and consistency. So that seems okay. Backhand mm -hmm. avoids using a backhand, lacks directional intent and consistency. Serve and return, able to hit a medium paced shot, lacks depth, direction, and consistency. I mean, three and a half honestly sounds like an insult. I think I'm better than that, though. You might dink. be a level four. I but might hold be on. level four, too. Well, hold on. We haven't talked about your dink yet. Not oh, able to consistently sustain a dink you. rally. Not yet developed the ability to control this shot. The third shot generally so can you dink? hits a medium. Please pace don't talk about my dink. With little can direction. We're not, we're not talking about my donkey. Though. All right, volley. Able to hit a medium pace shot, lacks directional slash inconsistent and strategy. Understands fundamentals. Is learning proper court positioning. Knows Wouldn't the you... fundamental rules and can keep score and is now playing tournaments. So you're not a three No, I'm yet. not a three yet. No. But like, like positioning on the court, like you could know that just by having common sense, like watching one tennis match. Oh, if they're going to hit it to the right side, you better go back to the middle after you hit it because they might hit it to the left next. What's the surface like? Um, and it's like a tennis court kind of. It's bouncy, like the ball bounces off of it. All right, so it's a hard court? It's hard, yeah. I'm a clay specialist. So Jess, <laughs> you are our pickleball expert, correct? Um, I guess. Okay, because on USAPickleball.org, on the skill assessment thing, on the right hand, there's a printable skill assessment sheet, PDF oh. that you could download, 
and then you can kind of it's like a report card so you pick the level that you want to i guess grade someone on like two two and a half three three and a half four four and a half or five and then there's like a checklist you could see here where you'd rate them zero, one, two, or three <laughs> based on how they do. So that guy was trying to flex when he designated his own level? Well, ah, maybe yeah. someone did it for him. We don't know. Mm. You should someone ask to, him. Someone has to bestow that upon you. Ask him for I his agree. report card. Yeah. I, I mean, it, like in karate, you have to pass a certain test, right? Where there's like judges and then they give you a belt. Yeah. I've always wondered about the wooden boards that they break in karate. I think that's taekwondo, isn't it? I don't well, know. No, you can do I know my four-year-old. My four-year-old does karate, and those boards are piece of shit. That's <laughs> what I'm wondering. Like, <laughs> is it also wood? I wouldn't, that tell my four, I wouldn't tell my four-year-old this, but those things. I, you could do it. Could things. you break it? You could break it. <laughs> they also had these plastic boards too. Boards. Those were harder to break than the actual wooden boards. One of the boards broke, like in the train. Like they were just bringing it out to like, the, and they're like, "Oh, I broke it. Sorry, let me get a new one." To get my red belt, I had to break oh. through one that was on fire. Whoa, that was cool. Yeah. What level? That was red belt. Mm. I would wait for the fire to, to take like up three? most of the board, right? And then it's weaker. Like three from black. So you just kind of mm. slow it down a little bit. Like, oh, I'm yeah. still concentrating. And then it's nice and soft because the fire did most of the work, right? Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. How about cinder blocks? Your kid breaking any cinder blocks yet or I not I could never yet? do it. <laughs> never do it. No cinder blocks. Yeah. Hmm. It's a final test before black belt. I really? That one. Cinder still blocks? Got my, still got my black belt, though. No big deal. Well, if you didn't do it, how'd you get the black belt? Yeah, you know, it's a... My kata was good. You're Speaking what? of like rating our sporting, didn't say that well. No, you're but, good. But uh, I finally have a handicap in golf. Hmm. This is okay, like okay. I'm glad you. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> just didn't stop right there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I finally have one. <laughs> guys. You have to play a lot of golf to calculate it, though, right. don't you? I, right? Guys, I, was, you I was always somebody that just thought it was how many you average over par. So I've always oh, told people I'm like no. a 10 because I usually shoot like low 80s. So like I've always said 10, but I put in like 30 scores because I've had a bunch of scorecards and I'm a seven. It's pretty good. How about oh. me? Well, I, they calculate it based off actually. of like you have to golf nice. at a course and the, the rating of each right. hole is how they calculate it, right? Well, like each course and what tee yeah. you play from has a rating. So you Correct. have to say where you played it, what tee you were from, and then whatever score you got from that, you right. get a rating for. So, so. you have you basically have to let a computer do it and it has to all be yes. like USGA. That's what regulated. I am. Like I, I did the official one because yeah. I, I wow. I'm interested in playing uh, some amateur tournaments like in my area. Oh. Just thought it'd be fun to do that, and you have to have an official handicap to do that. So that's why I've been. Well, you all on have that. a choice. You can practice playing golf with Chris Cody, or do both. you can play pickleball with me. Yeah, choose wisely. Is seven good? Seven is good. Yeah, single digits is good. Scratch is like zero. So yeah, yeah. What's Stugatz is? Because I, I mean, I don't want to be the guy that does one. it when he's gone. Dyslexia. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> Stugatz I, I is an interesting one. I wasn't dude. super impressed when I saw the golf. Stugatz. For how much he plays golf uh -oh. is not good. Yeah. Oh, wow. 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 Yeah, I didn't oh. want to say I, Jeez. He's probably going to hate this, especially coming from me, because you're actually good. I'm not. I hope he's here and he hears this. No, but for someone that plays golf that much, I'd like to think if I played golf as much as him, I'd be better than that. Yeah. I never play. Maybe he's not playing as often as he says. Because, you know, we, we always say he lies. Like, oh, that's, I think maybe no, that's I think the he's thing. Definitely I think playing. that's the one thing he's not lying about. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The one thing that's like weird about it is he doesn't have a full swing. Right. It's like right. a three quarter swing. Right. Yeah. Again, for someone who plays that much, how do you not have I, a full was, rounded out swing? If I may admit, like I saw the video that uh, Tyler put together. It's on our YouTube of our Tahoe. There were a couple of swings there that I thought he was me, yeah. which is also why I'm coincidentally on a diet right now. <laughs> but there were yes. times that he was off in the distance and I saw the swing. I'm like, ah, oh, man, that's a terrible like, swing. And then they zoom in. I'm like, oh my God, that was actually Stu Gatz. Yeah. I felt better about myself because he plays all the time. He has his strengths, like inside 100 yards, yeah. chipping. He's he's good. Putting, he can make a putt. But like, yeah, it's very surprising that he doesn't have, it's very short swings. And but you don't need to have a good drive to play well. Correct. However, you expect that if you play a lot, you would eventually have a pretty good drive. Right. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, my drive is getting there, and it gets better the more that I play. Like yep. by the time we're hitting hole sixteen, I'm like, oh, yeah. All I got to do is play more often. I want to play eighteen more. Yeah, right. But Stugatz I, plays a lot. Eighteen is too much. I've long held the belief that golf should be in sets of three or sets yeah. of six. I'm sorry. So this is a great theory. Yeah. I love so instead of playing two nine hole, you're, you're 
you know, front nine, back nine, you play three rounds of six. So there's a front six, a middle six, and a back six. So basically, you could play six holes and call it quits for the day, and you've got like an hour and a half round of golf. Yeah, that's nice. Or you play 12, and you're done. And it's like maybe two and a half hours, three. Normalize the front six. Or you play all 18. No, I love this I idea. love six holes. Because I can never play golf because it's so time consuming. I, I my wife would hate me if I'm like, hey, I'm going to play golf. See you in See five you Sunday. Hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's 18 holes is a huge time commitment. It's basically your entire day. Yeah. Unless you unless you tee off at like 7 a.m. But I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm a bad so golfer, early. so it takes me a little bit longer. Right. And it also depends on who I'm playing with because some of these characters are like, oh, playing with Roy today. I'm not going to be home for a while. And the stamina, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> Different Roy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the stamina to hit the ball for 18 oh, yeah. holes, yeah. it requires a lot. I mean, especially if it's warm out. You're kind of dragging ass a little bit. Maybe the course doesn't have coffee at the you know drinks place. Maybe they don't have beer. It's just a long, long time commitment. You should be able to play six or twelve and call it quits. But if you want to play eighteen, you can still play eighteen. Yeah. No one's telling you not to. But I want an option where I'm playing six and I'm done. How long is a pickleball game? I don't have good enough skin to play eighteen holes of golf. Why? Because mm. it's just I like get breaking you really early. Oh yeah. Oh, like I thought thick skin because you're you're still learning. No, you no. You mean like, like from the sun? Literally burned. Yeah. yeah. Like your organ, like your skin. Yeah. The mm. Epidermis. Mm. Pickleball games can be anywhere from like you know fifteen minutes to twenty minutes, depending how how, how good bad the people I am. are. <laughs> yeah. You flex saying you played three games. Play like an hour. Uh yeah, but we took breaks in between because uh, it was so hot out, and I a little snack break. I brought like banana chips and stuff, Billy. Fruit. Gummies, you know. What do you like, tostones or uh, platanos? Yeah, but I love tostones. Yeah. Did you have mariquitas or banana chips? Uh, I had well, I had banana chips this weekend from Trader Joe's, but Trader Joe's has these great plantain chips. They taste like tostones, but they're in a bag. You'd think, how can they make tostones that still taste like tostones that stay shelf stable? They're so crispy and delicious. Highly recommend. Out of all the things that you've said that I'm going to take you up on, it's a bag of Tostones. 